Hello everybody, welcome to this ancestry room. Today we're going to take a look at Vidibox. Vidibox is like a, 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 a mashup video uh, thing for DJs or VJs, or just for generally having a good time. Now there are some brilliant examples of these um, videos on YouTube, and some excellent examples on uh, the Audiobus forum as well. But uh, I just want to show you um, how you sort of get going and get started. Okay, so first of all, this little um, gear icon here will let you set up new projects and stuff like that. Okay, so the current project I've got, it's, uh, I just set up a new project called Test 3. Okay, so we can get rid of that a sec. And then if we go over here, so we've got a blank project. Okay, so you've got the app, you'll have looked at the demos and stuff and seen what it can do. So we press Import here, and this will give us all our available things that we can import now most of these are uh, from the developers but you can use them to get going but then you can film stuff directly from the app or use imported video and stuff like that so anyway um, first of all uh, we want to do some uh, audio stuff so you can the cool thing about this now it's been updated so you can import your audio samples and hits and loops and stuff from the, directly from audio audio share so you could record something in cubasis or gadget or something put it into audio share and go straight from this and go import and then it'll ask you where you want to drag it from and then just hit audio share and it'll appear here so i did this little thing yesterday so if i triggered it now it's just audio you can see it's just got a little music sign then it's just a little little track that goes on. So anyway, so we've got some other things we can put in, some other video stuff. So if we put this one in here, now you have 16 slots that you can fill up exactly like this. Okay, so I want to put that there. And then there's some other audio and video drum hits and stuff. So we'll put that there. We'll put that then. There you go. So if there's just one video playing, it will fill up the whole screen. And then there's... Uh, and then we can put that one there. Which is, I think is a simple hit. Okay. So if we combine the few things that we've got in there now, this is the kind of thing we're going to get. So let's start off the audio and a video clip. Looking in the east, see? So, and we can stop any of the clips anytime. Now, uh, so you can see now that this is how you build up your 16 grids. Now, how it plays as well. So let's just stop that a sec. So you know you're getting a basic idea now of how you can fill up all these 16 areas with different video clips or audio clips. Now, how it appears is, is basically up to you. you this little layout button here. You hit that, it gives different... I've got it set on auto, but you can choose from any of these kind of layouts and, it, and as you're playing it, it will sort of follow that. And, um, right, okay, so I'm just going to hit over here now to um, load. And this is uh, loading a project. Okay, so test two, I'm going to load. Here we go. So we can, we can uh, get off that now. So all I've basically done here is what you've seen me do, but it's like, this is one I did earlier. <laughs> if you know what I mean, to save time. So it's the same little thing. So we're going to play, but what we're going to do now also at the same time is we're going to record what we're playing. Okay, so we can hit the little record and it won't start until it sees and hears or sees or hears something. Okay, so let's start off with the audio and, sorry as well, I'd like to mention it all these say trigger at the moment because they'll trigger as I hit them, but you can hold them or loop them as well. So there's lots of options. And this little button here, info, if I hit that, sorry. Anyway, that little button there, which isn't doing anything at the moment, but it does, which will switch these icons on and off. Anyway, so, and then you can edit as well. Oh, so, turn off recording, sorry. That's why it wasn't doing it. If I hit info, 
It still isn't doing anything. That's right. Info turns on the icons that you can see. Okay. So let's hit record again. And it won't, like I said, let's trigger the audio and a video clip at the same time to start off. As soon as we stop record, it'll say save and video. So it'll just render this video now and it'll stick it on your camera roll. You can export it to other places as well. And you can import, I think, from Dropbox and uh, import audio uh, from iTunes file sharing and stuff like that. So you have the lots of, lots of options. So there we go. So let's go and see now if our recorded thing has gone into photos. And there it is. There's two of them there because I tested this earlier. So let's have a look at it, see what it looks like without all the bits and pieces. Now you can see how cool this could be. You can film your own video. There you go, guys. And uh, so there's a quick look at uh, setting up and using Vidibox, which is very cool. If you spend time with it, you're going to get some much, much better things than I've got out of it. And uh, there are some ways to apply uh, video effects and some audio effects as well. And then there's the edit page where you can select different things to edit, uh, information, uh, import, and you can watch uh, some of some of their their demo. So people load there's some of their demo projects as well. All right, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you later.